Rory, it looked like you enjoyed that out there today. Is that the case? Yeah, it was very enjoyable uh, first half. That was a tough slog in the second half, but you know we, we hung in and we got the win. You put in a, a lot of yards, a lot of effort, personally speaking, didn't you, in that first half? Yeah, we suppose we had a we had a game plan to try and uh, I suppose stop there, sit in midfield or get on, and it was just up to one of the strikers to to do that job, and it kind of just fell to me, so I just had to do it. How does the game plan get affected when you score within 70 seconds of a match? Yeah, it's unusual. We normally like to score late at home, but uh, I suppose we just kept going, didn't we? We got the, the second goal and then the kind of the game was a bit different than I suppose what we, how we planned it was going to go. The way you scored your goal from what, do you reckon, 25 yards? Was that probably about it? At a push, yeah, 25. <laughs> probably about 20. I thought, I thought it was 25. I would say 25, so... But it was a confident strike, which kind of belies the fact you, you haven't scored, what, in about 14 games, I don't think. Uh, yeah. Um, no, it just was a good, it was a, I suppose it was a ball up to Luke and he did well to, to hold off a couple of defenders and he laid it to me. And to be honest, I was kind of looking for, for Monty or Billy to, to lay it off, but I just couldn't see anyone. And right away I took a touch, it, you know, the gap opened up, so I just said I'd go for it. You know, yeah. it worked out all right. Yeah, well, you, you could have had another one before half time. You had one yeah, cleared from, off the line. Yeah, Ryan Sweeney's uh, headed, headed it back across the goal, and I thought, I thought if I got a volley to it, it'd be you know, it'd be hard to stop it. Keepers made a save, and Locks is nearly, I suppose, nearly put it in the back net, which would have really finished the game. Yeah, how have you found this season? Sort of in and out of the team. You've had chances, then you've been pulled out again. Has it been kind of difficult to get your rhythm? Um, yeah, it's been stop start. To be fair, you know, but you know. So we have a lot of competition for places. You know, Matty Taylor, you know, he was getting goals there for the f first half of the season, so he was going to play. And Ellis came in after Christmas and did well, and he got his, you know, he did well against Northampton and got four goals. So you just have to, you know, just say fair play to the lads, like you know, they deserve their run, and just keep your head down and wait for your chance. You mentioned Matty as a group of strikers that were left. Did you collectively feel the res weight of responsibility and sort of? Filling in his shoes? Uh, no, not really. I don't really suppose, personally myself, I don't really think like that. I just try and go out and play well every game. And I suppose Marcus Jork gets on to us about you know, our movements in the box and you know, how to affect the defenders and then also what we do when we get on the ball. So I just try and stick to what, stick to what he says, you know, despite how it looks. But um, <laughs> yeah, no, we just, we just try and go out and you know, play, play our heart out and you know, whatever happens, happens. Yeah. How much do you think you've improved working with Marcus? Yeah, I think I'm a much better player to to what I was here a year ago. You know, I came came on loan, I suppose, after you know a, a large period out injured. But I, you know, I think I'm I think I'm a better player. What's the biggest difference between League Two and League One? What have you had to improve? Do you think? I think teams probably keep the ball a bit better, um, especially some of the teams we've had here in the last few weeks. I thought after the first half an hour today, South End were, were pretty good. Like they did everything but score a goal. Uh, we defended well. Joel only pulled off a good save from a uh, free kick just at the start of the second half, you know. And we, I suppose, that's a team's just kind of keep the ball, keep the ball better. They don't give it back as easily. Uh, Bradford and Sheffield United showed that as well recently. Mm. You always look like a striker who enjoys the physical side of the game out there with a the centre half, and that was quite a quite a physical game at times today against two, well, one very experienced player in particular, Anton Ferdinand. How do you enjoy coming up against someone like him? Yeah, it's nice to test yourself, I suppose, against lads that have you know played at the highest level, and you know it just gives you you know a taste of what I suppose what it's like. Yeah. Are the players talking about a playoff run? Uh, no, not really, but we're, we're targeting a good week and then I suppose see, see where it leaves us. Because there's a cu couple of teams around us and we're a couple of games in hand. So see how they get on and then you'll know what your chances are like. Mm. But today was a big t test pass against effectively one of your rivals. You're level on points with them now. Yeah, I suppose it was a six-pointer because if we lost that, they would have, I suppose. I think we were 11 points now, so they would have been six ahead of us. Yeah. And they have a game in hand as well, I think. But after what happened last year and the previous season at Rovers, it's it's hard to ever rule anything out with you guys because you just seem to enjoy this time of year. Yeah, yeah. Um, I suppose never say never, but we'll see how the next couple of games go and we'll have a, a better idea from there.